Hey and welcome to a new Pizza Array tutorial. Today we will create something like this. Yeah, here we go in Blender. So let's uh, delete our cube and we have to add a torus. Let's uh, change the major segments to uh, 96 uh, and the minor segments to 48. The major radius is one and yeah, the minor radius is uh, 0.25. So, okay. Uh, let's rename this one to tunnel and uh, right click and shade smooth. We can also uh, set uh, normal to auto smooth and let's add a new torus which is supposed to be our light later so um, yeah let's change some segments 50 major segments and 20 minor segments 2.25 major radius and point zero one minor radius for this one let's rename it to lights and now we have to add a curve and a cycle um, yeah let's change this one to 3d and yeah now we have our tunnel torus <laughs> the light torus and a circle and now we want to um, clone our um, light toruses along our circle so yeah I will show you how we can do this now so yeah uh, let's hide our tunnel um, and now we can go to our lights torus and add an array modifier okay so here we can change the count let's do this a little bit later and we have to add curve and choose our circle now you can see that our um, yeah our lights are cloning along our circle but we have to change um, the direction so let's uh, do this really quick. Let's go to our light torus. Go to edit mode. And yeah, face mode. Uh, our torus is already selected. And let's <coughs> change the rotation by pressing R and Y. And now you can see uh, that only the Y direction is uh, yeah, select it and now let's type in 90 and press enter and now you can see that our torus is in the right direction now let's leave uh, the edit mode by pressing tab and now um, when we yeah increase the factor um, the yeah the toruses will uh, clone along our circle now 26.2 um, which is a, a even number for our yeah for our lights now okay let's uh, do some texturing I think uh, let's select our tunnel torus and we can go into shading mode let's change okay we can use material preview let's create a new material material tunnel and for 
the height map or the whole text string I use the tool um, J placement where you can easily generate some height normal and color maps and yeah you can play with the adjustments and you have different types of displacements and yeah if you don't know this little program you definitely have to check it out okay let's uh, import our texture for now um, I enabled the node wrangler add-on so I have to uh, press Control shift and T something like this okay let's wait and yeah I changed the texture scale here from 1 to 5 and yeah the Y from 1 to 2 so we have a little bit more uh, detail what is really important now is to add the height map and yeah in Eevee you have to do a little bit work around because um, the node wrangler tool already imported the displacement the, the height map but in Eevee the height map will uh, will not work so and let's do this little workaround now and uh, let's go into um, let's go into the modifiers and add a subdivision surface and let's crank this one up for maybe four and uh, for the render as well and let's save this one <laughs> really quick okay <coughs> um, yeah we have the subdivision modifier and now let's add a displacement okay something is going on here and now we have to add a new texture okay and let's go to um, let's go to the texture properties and select our height map here now you can see the magic and yeah <laughs> it's a little bit too high so let's go back to our um, uh, yeah to our t displays and change this one to uh, zero point maybe two let's see mm. okay it's a little bit too high um, maybe let's go with zero point one uh, okay and after that we have to um, yeah adjust our tiling because we tiled um, our texture here for five and two times so let's go to mapping and change this as well five in the x axis and two and the y axis and now let's go back to our uh, displace modifier and change the coordinates to UV yeah and now it's looking really cool I think so I think it's a little bit too high the displacement so let's go for something like 0 5 maybe ah, that's that's better I think okay yeah, and now you have a space station or whatever. It's it's looking really cool, I think. We can uh, go um, to change um, the camera view because when I'm in the camera now, um, I see, yeah, a Taurus. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's adjust our camera now 
and um, put this into the center. And I think we have to go for 90 degrees and the X um, in the X direction and let's change it yeah, to let's see it's very cool mm, and change maybe the focal length 25 let's change the preview from material preview to rendered and I think we have to change the light as well so let's uh, go with our light and yeah put this one over into our um, torus as well and I think it's a little bit too bright now okay let's change and we can enable contact shadows so we will get more realistic realistic shadows i think we have to uh, put our light a little bit more into this curve here so we can't see the light source but it, yeah it will spend some some light and yeah I think that's really cool let's change this one more to maybe I don't know maybe for something purple and increase it yeah maybe for something like this okay uh, let's add another texture or a material for our um, for our lights our material is now lights and I think we only have to um, make it emissive and you know, change it to orange orangish uh, tone so let's go with something like 12 or 5 I think we have to adjust this um, after enabling the EV stuff so let's go with this now and I think we can now um, animate our tunnel now so let's do this it's an easy one I think so uh, let's see um, we will go for 300 frames and uh, we have only to rotate um, the Z direction for 360 degrees. So let's set a keyframe on point uh, on yeah key zero. Um, on keyframe zero, sorry, and uh, 360 degrees on keyframe 300. So now you can see our tunnel is animating. Um, but <laughs> uh, we have to change a little thing. So let's change the interpolation mode from Bezier to linear and now we have a constantly yeah playing tunnel or looping tunnel but uh, our lights are uh, yeah not uh, not traveling so um, what we can do now is a little trick so Let's select this two and make a new collection, which is uh, lights, uh, lights, and okay. And now we can make an instance of this one. Disable or. Um, uh, yeah, our our collection, and now 
when we want to rotate this one. We can animate this one uh, like our Tauros, but yeah, <laughs> I'm a little bit lazy, so I just uh, parent my lights to our Tauros. Uh, so let's select this one and our tunnel and now press parent and object. So now our lights are parented to our tunnel and if our tunnel is moving our lights are moving as well. So ha, we have a cool looking tunnel with lights now. Awesome. So let's go to render mode again and let's see what we have now. Ha, really cool. And yeah, for a little bit more action, um, <laughs> let's animate our camera as well. So what we can easily add is a rotation in our camera uh, in the Y axis and you can see what will happen. And yeah, let's animate here. Let's add a keyframe on key, uh, yeah, on keyframe zero, and on three hundred with three hundred sixty degrees. Now let's make another interpolation mode change linear as well, and now. Haha, <laughs> we have a cool smooth tunnel animation. Awesome. Yeah, and for the final, final effect stuff, let's go to our EV render settings and enable ambient occlusion, some bloom. And now you can see the magic and a little bit screen space reflection. And okay, I think our orange lights are a little bit too um, uh, too too bright now. So um, we have to change this. So let's go back to our lights. And yeah, you can only change the texture when you are enable um, the lights again. So let's go with something like three and yeah, disable this one again. Awesome. Okay, cool. And for the last thing, I would add some depth of field. So let's go with focus distance, like maybe, yeah, something like this. And oh, Focus distance a little bit more in the front. Okay, that's cool. I think we can change the light a little bit more to something. Yeah, maybe for something bluish more, more orange and blue. Yeah, something like this. Okay, cool. That's it. I hope you like this one. Subscribe to my channel, like this video. See you next time and bye bye.